Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be um, a video where I show you guys how I do yes no questions. So in my previous video, um, I shared a little bit about my experience reading in um, metaphysical shops. And one of the one of the things that I mentioned was that <clears throat> among the very different amounts of clients that I was reading for, one of the ones that was very frequent were the clients that would try to get the most out of their reading time. Um, and so they would shoot out literally like yes, no questions, okay? Um, so by that, I mean, they were like, um, does so-and-so think about me? Is my ex seeing someone right now? When are they going to come? You know, that's not really a yes, no question. But you know what I mean? Like, they were just kind of shooting out question after question after question. And they didn't necessarily want to spend a lot of time on one particular question. They just wanted... They just wanted to hear the answer and then they would move on to the next one. So um, this also goes for if you've ever read for a, um, a hotline, like a psychic hotline, which I've also done that too, but that's another video. <laughs> Actually, I should do that video. <laughs> but if you've ever read for a psychic hotline, you will know that um, the, the yes, no questions are very, very, very heavily used. Um, because the person is paying for a certain amount of time and they want to get the most answered within that time frame. They don't really, I don't, I feel like a lot of these people, um, either they don't understand or they don't really, they're not very familiar with the fact that we could go super in depth with a reading or they simply just have 10,000 questions that they want answered and they only want to have it in that one session. So, <laughs> um, so I felt like this would be a really helpful video for those of you, um, who are looking to, you know, maybe you're doing, going to do psychic hotline readings or you're thinking about reading in a shop. And so one of you guys asked me, left me a, um, a comment in the previous video and asked if I could do, um, if I could film a video showing how I do the yes, no questions. So I am going to teach you guys today. Now, please keep in mind, um, the way that I do things is not the way that everybody is going to do things. And it's certainly not the only way to do things. Okay. So I feel like I needed to, um, take this off. I'm getting warm. It's actually warm today. I have my little ceiling fan on. Okay. Um, I understand, I mean, I, I understand that we all do things differently. Um, and you know, and that's nice and that's okay. So <laughs> please, please, please understand that as you are watching this video, I am not telling you that this is the one and only way to do this. There are millions of ways that you can do it. Always follow what, what feels natural to you. So, um, I, when I started to learn the tarot, um, I remember there was a post going on on Tumblr because that's where I started to do my readings. And on Tumblr, this this individual was writing about how they um, answer yes no questions, and I thought it was really um, it was really good, but I felt like it was a bit too like too lengthy of <laughs> too lengthy of a time to do it, um, and I didn't really care too much. For that way but I utilized a lot of like the ideas um, oh there's like little fuzz um, <laughs> I utilized some of those ideas and I kind of morphed it into my own way and I have found that this way works best for me so I'm gonna be working with the um, Centennial Smith uh, weight deck this is the borderless edition so it's one of my newer ones um, so I've thought this would be the best one to use because the cards are so large um, you'll be able to see the images now first things first if you have your tarot deck with you um, I would say you could follow along because this could be we could do this like together like a little class so get your tarot deck with you first thing you want to do is you want to shuffle the cards you want to shuffle the cards so that you will get reversals okay 
So that's the first tip I have is you will need reversals for this, um, for this to work the way that I do it, okay? Now, you're not necessarily gonna be interpreting reversals, so don't freak out if you don't know how to read reversals, it's okay. And for those of you who are still learning, reversals are when the tarot card comes up upside down when you pull the card, okay? That is a reversal. <laughs> so the way that you could shuffle, and I have this on another video, I may link it in the description box, but for now, let's just do it this way. Hopefully you can see my table. Um, the way that I that I um, shuffle the deck for reversals is simply, um, so okay, <laughs> you have the cards upright, right? If you don't want reversals when you shuffle, you part the deck, you have them both facing the same way, right? You're gonna wanna shuffle them that way. So if you're doing the, the riffle shuffle or the whatever, the casino shuffle, or I don't know what the fuck it's called. <laughs> You want to shuffle where they're both facing the same direction. That will keep them all upright, okay? So if you've ever seen me shuffle, sometimes I purposely like flip the deck around. That's why I'm doing that. <laughs> so that will get you. So if, as long as they're both facing the same direction and you're shuffling like this, they will always come out upright, okay? Now, if you want to... Um, shuffle for reversals. I have a couple different ways that I do that. Um, so one way is you could twist the deck and I'm sure some of you guys have seen me do this in my reading videos. Um, so you could twist the deck as many times as you want to do it. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of pick them all up and stand them all up either which way. Don't worry about what direction they're facing. <laughs> And there you go. So, so some of your cards are going to be upright. Some of them are going to be upside down. But um, so that's one way that you can shuffle really quick to get reversals. Another way you can do it is the same type of um, shuffle I did earlier. You're going to part the deck. And instead of them being the same direction, you're going to flip one of them upside down. Okay. See what I mean? So now you're going to have one that's upside down and another one that's upright. And then you're going to shuffle those together. So as you can see, some of them are upside down, some of them are upright, and they're going to be blended together. Okay? So I want you guys right now to work on shuffling your deck. Um, shuffling it a couple of times, whichever way feels... Um, woo! <laughs> whichever way feels the best for you. Um, and then once you feel like you're ready, we'll start the demonstration for the yes no questions okay so I'm just gonna do this <laughs> and um, as you guys will probably see some of my videos some of my videos I use reversals with certain decks and other decks I don't it's just preference um, sometimes I read reversals sometimes I don't read reversals it's it's truly what I feel at the moment okay so once you got your deck mixed up, <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to ask the deck just a basic yes, no question, um, and then we're going to pull cards, okay? So the first question we're going to ask is, um, will I get the job that I want? Okay, will I get the job I want? So pretend you shuffle and now you're pulling cards for the reading. So we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the King of Wands upright, the Queen of Cups upright. I pull three cards only. So you only need to pull three cards. And as you could see, we have one reversal and two uprights. So for a quick yes, no question, I would say, yes, you will get the job that you were looking for. And why is that a yes? Because you have two uprights and one negative. Okay? Two positives and one negative. Two is bigger than one, right? <laughs> it's as basic as that, you guys. Now, if you have time, like let's say you have a client that that's the only yes, no question that they're looking for. You pulled the cards to get the yes or no. Now you want some insight on it. Then you can actually pull cards for the reading and give them a reading based on that question. Okay? 
But a lot of times, and this is this works really well, this technique works really well for the clients that are um, in a hurry and they're not necessarily paying attention to what you're saying in detail. They just want to know yes or no, am I going to get the job or not? Okay, let's move on to the next question. You'll understand, you'll get a feel for those types of clients. There's nothing wrong with that type of client. It's just if you are used to giving this beautiful, long out, long drawn out um, description of a reading and you, you put your heart and soul into it, those types of clients may not appreciate it as much as the next person. <laughs> so that's why it's like a basic, just a basic card pull. So let's do it again. Let's shuffle the cards. And once the deck is already in reverse, you don't necessarily have to try to shuffle for reversal because they're already all mixed up. Um, but it's up to you. Like, just go with how you feel. Okay, so the next question. Um, and, and a lot of times, you guys, these yes-no questions are going to be pretty shallow. Like, the, um, let's, let's do a shallow question. Um, is my ex thinking about me right now? So we have a 10 of cups in reversed, we have an eight of cups upright, and we have a six of um, wands upright. <laughs> so right off the bat, just by looking, oops, just by looking at the cards, is my ex thinking about me right now? What would your answer be? Yes, because I have two uprights and one negative. Okay, so the next thing you could do if you wanted to utilize the cards that you pulled, you could say, yes, my your ex is thinking about you right now. Um, they may be going through some issues with their present relationship because the Ten of Cups came up and reversed. So they may be unhappy with their current relationship status. Um, they haven't yet gotten over you. They still have feelings for you. And the Six of Wands may show they are looking to reconnect with you or they're looking to wanting to try again or a second chance might be the better option so boom there you go you did <laughs> you did a yes no reading and you used the cards that you pulled to give extra insight so that's like another step that you could do if you wanted to do that so let's do another one um, for the sake of the demonstration so let's see what's another yes no question um let's see okay am I gonna have a good day today we have the five of pentacles upright we have the six of wands upright and we have the eight of cups upright so obviously they're all positive because they're all upright so I would say yes your day is going to be extremely well it looks like the core of the day is success you're going to be getting a lot of stuff done um, but it looks like there might be some struggles you may not be able to spend some money today or I would advise don't go on a shopping spree you know make sure that you're not overspending don't go shopping just out of being bored and then the eight of cups might be um, you know try to keep yourself focused and busy because you may tend to drink Drift off into thinking about, you know, things, topics, people that have been bothering you lately. So that's, you know, there's, there you go. There was a quick explanation using the cards that you pulled as well as answering a yes, no question. This technique works really, really well um, for the in-person readings, like when you're reading in a shop. But if you're doing, um, hotline readings you're on the phone with a client and they're just throwing these yes no questions out to you you already have your deck ready to go and they're just throwing out questions like so am I going to get back together with my ex and then I would say yeah it looks like things are going to get a little bit better but it may be a little bit of a struggle to get you guys back to where you were before okay well when do you see that happening so then you would just pull cards and you know you just start throwing it out and then you'll be like are we going to be successful if we try it again so then and you would pull another three. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like you guys will be successful this next time around, but you need to get over the past. Don't be bringing stuff with you and focusing on the new and actually paying attention and listening to one another communicate. <laughs> Boom. So those are, that's how I do. Let me put this back up. <laughs> That is how I do my yes, no questions. Um, and 
to me it's worked it works it, it's it's gotten the job done um the only thing i do not like about yes no questions is it's so to me the only word i can think of is shallow they are such shallow questions um and shallow insight to me it's like if you could get your client to reword their question where maybe instead of asking like, is my ex thinking of me, we could, you know, pull cards and you could say, well, let's, rather than like pulling on what they're thinking about, let's look at ways that you can better improve yourself or the situation to maybe make things happen again with them. Or let's pull some cards looking into the future of what can possibly take place if the two of you are putting in extra work to make it work together. So <laughs> sometimes rewording a question will be better and helpful and more beneficial, but not every client is going to want to do that. Um, and that's okay. So you got to keep in mind, especially if you're doing a phone reading <laughs> or especially if you're doing a phone reading, or if you are reading in a shop, you are technically supposed to fulfill the reading for the person because you were reading under someone else's business, okay? Um, so as you're, you're literally contracted out by that shop owner or by that business that does the, home, the, the phone readings. So technically, you're gonna have to fulfill those readings. So if you're getting someone who's throwing out yes, no questions and you normally don't do that kind of stuff, this is a really cool way to do it. Um, and then, you know, maybe later on you'll figure, I don't resonate with this kind of reading style. I don't want to do yes, no questions. And that is completely fine because I personally, I'll do them if I need to. Um, but I always try to add in more guidance through the session. So um, I don't know if I still state it in my, I'm not sure if I still put it in my code of ethics. I have to check. Um, but I used to put, I do, I do not answer yes, no questions and we will reword it if anything. So, <laughs> um, because yes, no questions can tend to go into the line of asking third party questions where it's like, um, is so-and-so thinking about me? Are they thinking of leaving their current relationship? You don't really want, unless you are comfortable with that, but for the most part, like for me, I don't really want to read for someone else when I have you in front of me. It's like, I'm reading for you. So let's reformat the question to fit your needs versus so-and-so. <laughs> So my loves, that is how I um, do yes, no questions. Thank you for joining me for this little tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or any insight or anything you would like to add, please comment below. I do read the comments and I will do my best to respond. And um, thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye loves.